What's up guys? Good morning. It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So obviously I'm over my little gym spot and I wanted to talk about something that I used to struggle with a lot and I still do quite a bit, but probably not as much as I did maybe 10 years ago. Um, that's positive mental attitude. I consider myself delusionally optimistic is the word I say, but that comes with a little bit of, of a caveat. I'm delusionally optimistic, like if you say something can't be done, I always believe it can be done. And there's got to be a will and there's got to be a way, right? But in the same sense, I struggle with my initial reaction sometimes being something bad. One of the, the biggest and most positive motivators in my life, oh, just got gray everywhere, has truly been being positive and believing in something. So, in a situation like what I'm in right now, many people in my realm of finances or whatever would probably think it's not possible, you know? And, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I think for the majority of us, we may think that way. And the world takes a lot of different types of people to be able to go around. You have people that believe and you have people that don't. You have people that work for other people and you have people that work for themselves. You have people that really want to earn a lot of income and people that are content with getting by. And I guess at the end of the day, you really got to ask yourself, which one am I? What do I really want out of this life? For me, if you asked me that 10 years ago, I would probably say something like win the lottery, get a billion dollars and be rich and famous or something like that. Now it's changed. I don't want to say it's changed in a bad way. It's just completely different. The way I say things is probably a lot different too. So if I were talking to myself, I would say, I'm going to be successful. And I would start with those, those starter words. I'm gonna be, instead of I wanna, I wanna be. But I think the biggest thing is that's changed for me as far as like what I wanna get out of life is I wanna be happy, I wanna be in love, I want to make a difference in people's lives. I want to get a cabin. I want to have some land. I want my, my family to be healthy and taken care of. You know, I want my son to have a bright future. I want to give back and help, you know, kids that are troubled, you know, maybe so that they don't have to go on the same paths that some of us did and, you know, skip some of it and have somebody maybe believe in them a little, you know, and make a difference in people's lives, whether it's with weight loss or body transformations or feeling better about themselves or, you know, whatever it is, you know, just make a positive difference. And it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly with, you know, what I'm doing now. It could be, um, it could be, you know, things that I do outside of the gym or things that I, you know, maybe I can make an impact on different people because I do find myself doing more as I go along. And I've learned that one of my favorite things and that gives me the most bang for my buck as far as my heart is concerned is philanthropy, giving back and, you know, not taking as much as I used to and really realizing that the key to 
feeling kind of whole as, as a person is doing as much as I can for others. You know? A positive attitude goes a long way. And if you find yourself where people say, you should start a business, or you should do this, um, you should go back to school because you're complaining about your job or whatever it is. If you find yourself always doing that and always having like a, a crappy mindset about all of these things, you know, I don't care what your circumstances are or are not, you really truly are going to get the shit end of the stick. Probably the paint stick on this crappy little wall here. <laughs> Yesterday, this is a good example of how my thought process has changed. Yesterday, me and my son were painting and that blue wall was our first difficult wall. This wall here is concrete, like bricks, like cement, 16 by eights. And then that one there is the same. And then the first two walls were drywall. So they were significantly easier. I coated that wall yesterday like nine times and it's not even done. It's gonna to need another two coats. It was difficult um, to say the least. And as we moved along on the wall, you know, he kept saying, you know, negative things. And obviously I was susceptible to that. You don't have to think that things don't suck. All right. Because let's be honest, some things suck regardless if you like things, you know, I'll be honest. Like I love training and I love helping people and I love doing this, but there's aspects of everything I don't like doing. You know, I love making videos, but I don't like editing them necessarily because it takes time and concentration. And I don't really enjoy that type of thing. But I do know that no matter what you do in life, if you be positive, like that blue wall over there, I told him, I said, yeah, the blue wall sucks, but it's only paint. And eventually, regardless of what happens, we will finish that blue wall. And we will feel really good about it when we're done. You know, because that's really what it is. I enjoy this part of things too. You know, I enjoy working. I enjoy, you know, working with my hands and painting and fixing stuff and building things and being creative and all of those things, you know, and, but again, like that blue wall, there's some things that you're not going to enjoy, but you can really truly see the good in all of it, you know? Yeah, the blue wall sucks, but the, the blue wall is almost done. And I told him, I said, no matter how bad that blue wall sucks painting, because he gave up on it, I ended up taking it over. I said, no matter how bad that blue wall sucks, the gray wall that we're about to do is going to suck even more. <laughs> so there's no reason to be negative about it because that blue wall is not even half the size of the gray wall I'm doing now. And that's what you have to remember. If there's anything that you can gain out of experiences in life, it's like no matter what you're going through, either you have or will go through something more challenging and that's part of personal growth if you want to grow and get better at things you might as well just handle them in the best way you possibly can mentally because chances are it's an opportunity to just get a single tiny bit better at what you're doing maybe it's prepping you for something grand and great you know um, like this for instance you know, maybe some people wouldn't see the value of that blue wall. But when I walk in here and I see that, and that wall is beautiful and it's painted well, and somebody took the time and everything, maybe not everybody's gonna think about it, but the people closest, like my clients and everything, they've seen, you know, what this space looked like recently and how bad it was and how, how amazing it's gonna be and all the hard work and effort you put into it and that, if anything else, yeah, maybe the blue wall sucked, 
and painting this up and it took forever. But if you can pass on just a little bit of, you know, ambition or hope into somebody through a situation like painting a wall and getting this space ready. Because in the end of the day, you guys, like, of course I'm doing this for myself, okay? Of course I want to train in a nice space. Of course I want to have a cool gym space. I mean, it's a pretty expensive gym membership for me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, I want my clients to have a really cool, positive experience in a really cool, awesome place. You know, and a place where they can get results, and a place where they can gain knowledge, and a place where they can grow, um, whether it's emotionally or, you know, physically, and get stronger, and, you know, lose weight, and get healthier, and stuff like that, and, and all of that incorporates itself into that stupid blue wall, and, and it's just like when you're trying to get your dream car. And you're working a daily nine to five, and then eventually, 10 years later, you're able to afford your dream car. Maybe your job sucks. That's okay. Because if it's getting you one step closer to your dream, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Like, be positive about it. Because at the end of the day, we're always gonna do things that suck. I'm not gonna say, like, go through your life and pick everything that sucks because that's what you need to do. You need to suffer not that but if a good majority of things are going to be challenging whether mentally emotionally physically difficult in your life and that's a given um, if you ever try to push for more in your life whether it's health health or otherwise um, you are going to be challenged so cardio it's not my favorite thing but it's necessary Maybe a lot of you guys think cardio sucks or lifting weights sucks or whatever, but it's necessary and the end result is positive and good. So maybe the situation that you're going through isn't positive and good and the steps that you have to take there are a struggle, but the end result is going to be amazing and regardless of how many things that you have to go through, you know some of them are going to be difficult no matter which way you look at it. So you might as well have a good freaking attitude during the process. I'll be honest, like I'm not big on running. I ran a marathon last year. Am I proud of that? Hell yeah, I am. I did it at 240 freaking pounds. So literally that was out of my realm. I'm really proud of myself for doing it because I kept going and I kept a positive attitude about it. People are like, oh, I couldn't do that. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit, if you're healthy and you have a reasonable amount of uh, conditioning, most people can train themselves for something like that. You know, aside from like injuries and stuff. So, I didn't want to run 34 hours a day. When I got toward the end, it was a lot of freaking running, 40, 50 miles a week, like it was insane. I would literally spend like 15, 20 hours, sometimes 30 hours a week running. If you incorporated everything else, you know, getting ready for the run, packing my stuff, like all that. It was a full-time job. Did it suck? Yes. But I can officially say that I ran a damn marathon. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't run it in some record time by any means. So, yeah, I could have been negative. And the problem with being negative is it's not even about thinking about it shittily. It's about thinking, if I think negative thoughts on every one of those runs. I ran for like seven months straight, if you guys don't remember. If I, and that's not necessary, by the way, if you're trying to train for a marathon, you wouldn't have to run that much if you just went straight into it. But if you want to be pretty well conditioned for it, that's probably a good option. But if I had a negative attitude on every single one of those runs for seven months, you know damn well that I never would have finished them. I never even would have gotten anywhere close to finishing them. I would have, I would have never even done them. That would have been a nightmare. So, whatever you're going through, I don't know what you're going through, okay? Chances are, it could be difficult, or at least a portion of your life is difficult. Do your best just to stay positive. Stay positive on the things that you can do. So, sometimes, think of the long-term effects of things. If you're ever at a point in your life and you're like, I'm not getting what I want, stop and think for a second. 
Are you giving somebody else what they want? My life started changing in a really good way once I started giving back to others. I lived a life of extreme lack. I'm not going to say I'm by any means. I still scrape by, to be honest. I just scrape by on a little bit better level. You know, food is not an issue. That's one of the things I don't have to worry about. Housing is not an issue. I have a place to live now. I am at the point to where I am growing almost at the point where I'm actually making something in life. And when you are struggling or in your difficult situation, a lot of the times you get a crappy mindset and stuff like that. Don't think about what you don't have. Think about what you can do for others that don't have. And don't expect it back, but know that it will come back eventually. The universe will take care of you guys. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. If you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. And remember, sometimes I know it's really fucking hard. I shouldn't have said that cuss word. It's really hard to have a positive attitude. But at least, if nothing else, think of the end result because it's going to be a lot better. Have a good day, guys.